the March ban list is approaching us. And we're currently in the middle of a format where you're either setting up a floodgate or you have a whole bunch of traps or hand traps at your disposal. Here are my predictions for the first ban list of 2021. I've talked about True King of All Calamities quite a few times on this channel on quite a few prediction videos and yet it has yet to be banned outright. I'm starting to feel like a broken record at this point. Um, rank 9 has never been a popular rank to go into. I've probably said this quite a few times. Uh, but it's becoming more popular now because, you know, Virtual World is basically VFD.deck. You know, very fun daddy, very fun dragon, uh, whatever you want to call it. It's... The point is, it's getting more traction now with Virtual World. And there's some decks that can also make it like Fluffle and Generators. Uh, Orchest, if you really want to go there. Or anything that I can make a level 9 and no Trishula fusion monster. It it happens. Time for very fun daddy to go. Another candidate for the band hammer is Hyper Angel Ben 10. When she's tributed, she can search out another fairy monster from the deck like the Herald Tantrath or even Vanity's Ruler. And hey, that just happens to synergize very well with Drytron. I can see Ben 10 either going to 1 or 0 on this next ban list. Probably 1. Uh, if that doesn't work out, probably 0 after that point. Seeing as Dragon Link is making a bit of a resurgence this format, and banning these cards would make us revert back to a combo format, it's time for LP to go. Time for LP to join Agrapane. Or Agrapane, or how the, however you pronounce that. I might have said this before, but summoning from the deck is one of the best places to summon from. And LP is a one-for-one one trade. And let's not tiptoe around this next problem. Let's just ban Dragoon right now. Because it's going to be a problem. It is kind of a problem right now. But it's going to be more so of a problem in the future. Indestructible and untargetable with negate effects and destruction effects. Yeah. That, that's not okay. Let's go in the direction of the OCG and yeet Dragoon out of this format. I feel like if these cards do get banned, we should also ban the Helky Firebrax on the exact same list. I say this so that we don't go back immediately to a Break My Board format and Helky Firebrax is a combo enabler and extender. I sincerely doubt it would take people very long to figure out how to break Helky Firebrax even without Link Cross. One thing I think could probably be brought back to one is Mirage Stallio. Mirage Stallio would probably be fine at one, considering Salamangrates kind of die to Nibiru. With the errata of Firewall Dragon coming out in Ghosts from the Past in April, I've been hearing talks about Firewall coming back to one on this upcoming ban list. It would be about a month before we even get the errata. The logic behind this is Konami doesn't want to sell product with banned cards in it. I disagree. Konami has no issues in selling product that has a banned card in it. And I approve of this. The legendary collection Kaiba. It included a secret rare of the Linkwood Duo. What Konami could do for this to be legal on the next ban list is to post the errata to the database. I feel like this could cause confusion though. It could go either way on the upcoming ban list, but I digress. Thank you all so much for watching. Lilith has noticed that 93.6 of you who watch these videos are not subscribed to the channel. She's not mad. She's just disappointed. My name is Brent. I am Max Weird, and I'll see you all next time. Peace. <laughs>